We talk a lot about the craft beer movement in the Twin Cities, but did you know the first craft sake brew pub in the U.S. started right here in Minnesota? I didn't know that. It is Moto I in Minneapolis. And not only a pioneer in that, it does have maybe the best ramen in town. I'm just Ooh. saying it's fantastic. Moto I's general manager, Katie Muller, is with us. Thanks for coming yeah, in, Katie. Thank you for having me. Whenever someone brings stuff in, we're always very happy <laughs> about that. I had no idea that sake was brewed almost like beer. It's a very similar process, yep, it although it's a so totally different drink. Mm -hmm. I think people think of it like wine. How is it brewed? You guys are doing it right there at Moto I. Yeah, um, it is brewed um, very similar to beer. It's, it's um, commonly people think that it's a distilled beverage. Right. Which is a kind That's of what I would have thought. Um, yep, but it's brewed very similar to a beer. Uh, your owner really got the credit, uh, Blake Blake Richardson, as having the first sake brew pub. A at the time, I remember when it, when he opened it. Honestly, we all thought it was crazy. Or like this is kind of a crazy <laughs> idea. But uh, how did he have the idea to get this started? Um, well, I think that he opened the Herkimer um, about 15 years ago, and he just really got into craft brewing with beer, and then tried sake, got really interested in sake, and decided that he wanted just to do that sense. as well. And you have, of course, brought some stuff for yeah. us today. Yeah, so what did you bring? Um, so this first sake is tokubetsu. Uh, tokubetsu meaning special. So um, this sake is, is roca, which means charcoal filtered, so a lot of the impurities Ooh. have been extracted from the sake, um, leading a really crisp finish. Oh, that's um, excellent. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. This one's my favorite. Oh, this one's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down the line here, and then okay. what do we have here? Um, this one is the Kimoto Genjo Genshu, Genjo oh. meaning of premium grade, uh, Genshu meaning undiluted, so oh, it's going to yep. be a little bit Come higher alcohol content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this has a little higher alcohol. Yep. What is um, the alcohol content of um, This one is 18%. 18, um, yeah. Yep, so um, higher in alcohol content. Okay, yeah. uh, it has kind of has that mushroomy, umami flavor to it. This one's yeah. very rice forward to me. It's very rice. Oh, that's really good. You like yeah. it? Wow. Excellent. Nice. I do like All that, right. and it definitely gets a little bit of rice in there. Just a little Moto bit. Motoi has an out standing rooftop right there at your kind of Lindale and Lake yep, area right, right? The corner. you get a beautiful little view out the roof and it's a it's you know people very popular in the summer right absolutely yep um, um, especially on great days and what do we have right here this last sake is the nagori um, nagori the sake is obviously cloudy roughly pressed so it's gonna be a little bit sweeter um, okay. the sake is very approachable I think when people enter sake, Ooh. it's always something a little sweeter, yep, right? Absolutely. So I usually recommend Typically, the same as wine. Or the same. Yeah, this absolutely. is good too. I think I will agree with you though. This one might be my favorite. Ve very, very pretty very popular. Nice. That's good too. Yep, absolutely. Like Delicious. Awesome. We'll just take these bottles yeah, back. <laughs> no problem there, Katie. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you for having me.